Good afternoon, everyone, and a warm welcome to all of you to the Department of Physics. Uh, myself, Niranjan, Chairman, Department of Physics, KSOU. Uh, we have two more faculty in our department, Dr. Nanda Prakash and Dr. Prithvi Rani. The department offers MSc Physics program and also offers physics as one of the core subjects in the BSc Physics BSc program. Now let me explain about the MSc Physics program. Students, as you all know, I have already frame, framed one WhatsApp group wherein I have shared all the necessary information and we also had a detailed interaction. Detailed interaction uh, and I have clarified all the doubts uh, that you have posed on. And uh, this induction program will just be like a summary of that uh, meeting that we had. Okay, I will start with giving you the program structure. MSc Physics is a four semester program and uh, in the first semester you will have three core papers, classical mechanics, mathematical physics and atomic and molecular physics. These are the three core papers. In addition, you also have electronics as the elect discipline specific elective course. So in the first semester, you have four theory papers and all these four papers are compulsory. And each of these paper is evaluated for 100 marks, 80 marks for term and theory, theory examinations and 20 marks for internal assessments. And as you all know, I have shared the internal assessment questions and also the instructions to write the internal assessment in the WhatsApp group. Please do go through the instructions and write the internal assessment accordingly and submit to the department. And in addition to these four uh, compulsory theory papers, you also have two practical courses in the first semesters. And this practical component these practical components are evaluated for 50 marks. That is, each course is evaluated for 50 marks. So, and this practical component will run the same throughout all the four semesters. Like that means, in each semester, you will be having two practical uh, courses. In addition to all these theory and practical courses, you also have selected an open elective course, which is a course outside physics. I think you have already chosen one open elective course and the department also offers uh, open elective course to the students of other programs, other master's degree programs. And coming to the second semester, here also the program structure is quite similar to that of first semester. You, you will be having three core papers, namely quantum mechanics, electrodynamics and statistical mechanics. These are the three courses in the second semester which are core papers and also you will be having optics, photonics and lasers as the sole uh, discipline specific elective paper and hence you will be having these are the four papers, theory papers of the second semester and again you have two practical courses and finally you will be having one open elective course also in the second semester. This is about the program structure of the second semester. Now coming to the third semester. Here there is a small change in the uh, program structure. That means instead of three core papers, you will be having only two core papers, namely nuclear physics one and condensed matter physics one. These are the only two core papers in the third semester. And uh, instead of one discipline specific elective course, the students will be offered three discipline specific elective courses, namely numerical computational methods, accelerator physics and material sciences. The students are have to suggest two papers from these three discipline specific elective papers. And in these, these, this means in third semester also you will be having only four theory papers just like the first two semesters. In addition to that there will be practical component and finally instead of open elective courses here you have to study one skill enhancement course. Uh, we have introduced Python programming theory as the uh, skill enhancement course for the third semester and this course again is evaluated for 50 marks. So it will be for only 50 marks. 
This is about the program structure of the third semester. And finally, in the fourth semester, the program structure is same as that of the third semester. Here again, you will be having two core papers, that is nuclear physics one, sorry, nuclear physics two and nuclear physics, condensed matter physics two. These are the two uh, core papers. And you have three discipline specific elective papers, namely spectroscopy, atmospheric physics, and project dissertation. These are the three courses. Out of these three courses, you have to choose any two courses of your choice. That means you will be having totally four theory papers. And the guidelines for this project dissertation will be shared in the WhatsApp group. And uh, in addition to these, again, there will be practical component, two practicals, and one more skill enhancement course you have to study. This time we have introduced Python programming in the practical part in the fourth semester as the skill enhancement course. So this is the structure of all the four semesters uh, of MSc physics program. And totally the course is for 82 credits, 82 cre including all the semester credits, it will be for 82 credits. And now this, about, this is about the program structure. Now coming to the classes. So the classes here means the theory class as well as the practical class. So the theory classes will be conducted in online mode through any of the platforms. The detailed links of the classes will be shared in the WhatsApp group again. And also the practical classes will be conducted in offline mode. Again, the detailed program will be shared in the WhatsApp group well before the start of the program and so that the students can make necessary arrangements for the practical classes. And uh, this is about the MSc physics program and uh, I suggest all the MSc physics uh, students to uh, go through all the inf messages that you, I send, all the information that I share in the WhatsApp group and do follow the timetable accordingly. So now this is about all about MSc physics program. Coming to the BSc physics, BSc program, as I have already told, physics is offered <coughs> as one of the core subjects in the BSc program. In the first four semesters of the BSc program, and you all know BSc's program is for is of six semesters. In the first four semesters, you will be having one theory paper and one practical paper. The theory paper will be evaluated for 100 marks, out of which you will be having 80 marks in the term and examination and 20 marks for internal assessment. And coming to the practical part, it will be evaluated for 50 marks, 40 marks for practicals and 10 marks for internal assessment or viva. So uh, again, in the third, third year, that is fifth and sixth semesters, you will be offered three courses per semester, out of which you have to choose any two courses and attend at accordingly. So the details regarding the uh, BSc program will be shared in a WhatsApp group to be created by the BSc physics coordinator and all the information will be shared in that WhatsApp group. Now, I would like to conclude my induction program with a quote from Albert Einstein. Logic will get you from A to B. Imagination will take you everywhere. But physics is a world beyond logic and infinite imagination. Once again, a warm welcome to all of you. All the best.